Hey y'all, I just got a no cool call. It's uh, 98 degrees in Fern Creek, Kentucky, so I reckon they want me to get there pretty quick. Uh, said there's water standing on the floor. Advised to turn the fan on. Turn AC off, turn the fan on, and hopefully she'll be thawed out by the time I get there. But uh, I'll catch up with y'all in a minute. Okay, well, we're over here at the nice lady's house and uh, looks like she's a little low on refrigerant. She's got a 40 year old carrier 120,000 BTU unit and I reckon I'll be replacing that pretty soon. So I'm going to try to get her going for the rest of the week. We're, we're in a hell of a heat spell here. So I'm going to draw her up a bed and hopefully uh, y'all see that on video. I would say she's definitely a Kentucky fan. She does a lot of volunteer work for the Coaster Children's Hospital here. Raised uh, $95,000 for them. Nice lady. Okay. <clears throat> well, I just washed the unit out there. I'm letting it kind of dry off a little bit. Got pretty muddy out there. But anyway, here's the... Uh, Here's the beast I was telling you about. This is that carrier. It's a 150,000 BTU furnace. I would be, wouldn't be able to tell you what the percentage is. What maybe 29 <laughs> percent? No, it's probably about 70 percent, if that. So uh, there it is, and I'll be changing her out. Uh, Going to go back with uh, probably a 100,000 BTU uh, uh, single stage, uh, 95 percent plus furnace. Uh, should be able to vent it right out here but uh, the only thing is is uh, it's unfinished in this portion of the basement and it's going to be probably an inch and a quarter line set I'm running that's a I believe it's a five ton unit out there but uh, I'm definitely going to have to have fun uh, trying to uh, run that line set but it can be done so I'll, uh, I'll update y'all later uh, I gotta get back out there and check my charge. 